guys have enjoyed this week's adventures as much as we have, please subscribe to our channel. It would really mean a lot. Hey guys, the Backridge Butchery will be closed over Easter. Easter is about to hit, and wouldn't you know, we've got another weather warning. Old Meat Service got this one right. It's a bit of a rain warning. Oh, this one getting a bit shitty. Ready to roll? Oh yeah. Beautiful weather. <laughs> She's a bit wet. Stag's still got to be here somewhere though. About to start the climb up the hill. Pack's feeling like about 30 kilos. Right, better catch up to a little red. It's a good scrape just over there. No. Yeah. That's a reminder, you think? Just before it. Oh, really? No. Oh, wow. Yeah. Living the dream. Well, one thing's for sure, it's still not get, sure not getting better. <laughs> Nothing like a good wet easterly to kick off a seeker trip. We're probably only 20 minutes, hopefully, get to a nice dry hut. Get that fire cranking, get a brew on, get some bacon wraps into us. Going, get the billy on. A little bit of tree rub there, so that's cool. Possibly a scrape here in front of the camera. We'll check it out. All good? Yes, well done. So it's Easter Saturday, brick and cold southerly outside. Weather forecast on the radio, yeah, heavy rain warning for Hawke's Bay. Currently it's not raining here, it's just blowing. I'm gonna swap out dogs this morning and take whiskey chops down in some gullies. Got too much energy. It's got a lot of wiry in it. Just heard our first hee haw for the morning. for the bush this morning. Too wet. It was bloody cold. Haven't spooked a deer. Want this bloody sun to come out. Come on. Oh, wet dog, wet dog. Oh, it's cold and wet out there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> come on, wet dog. All right, hot barrels. Okay, thank you very much. You too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Annie, come here. So the girls have gone off to do battle and uh, I'm just grabbing some gear. I'm going to head south, do the same thing. Sit in the drizzle for an hour or two. Desperation it's called. I just smoked a deer. We're really, really short of dog food. Two big dogs are powering through the biscuits. So Emma and I said tonight, whoever sees a deer, shoot it. And then we're good for the next bloody week. So it's gone to plan. amount of energy these dogs burn through they need plenty of go and it's cold so they're probably burning a bit more so it's Easter Sunday definitely our best day weather wise so far it's like northerly with a little bit of easterly in it I can see the main Kawika range so that's pretty cool head north Hunt some spots, see if we've had any luck on our game cameras. We just picked up our first deer out feeding. It's been a number of stags in the bush, sort of heat oaring days young. Get into the beach over here and hunt our way east. The first hour is really, really hard going. It's slow. Maybe the deer are out in the open trying out the last few days. Since we've been in the bush, we haven't heard a heat or dogs been winding like crazy. But all we can hear is helicopters flying around. We'll keep hunting. Just picked up camera number two, and sadly, this wallow hasn't really had much action. There's a couple of spikers on it having a bloody headbutt cruise around sniffing it a couple of times and that's about it so we'll throw it in the pack and find somewhere else to put it and keep hunting. Time to hunt for whiskey shops and I. Weather's cleared so I think it's our opportunity to get out there. BRB and Black Panther they've taken off this morning so they've gone on a big mission so now it's our turn eh sweetie. It's one of those go slow days. Past 12. Since I've been in the bush, I haven't heard a single call. I've got a territory call. That happened so quickly. I'm sitting here, 
giving some seeker calls looking down the valley this way and then my little dog just about jumps up on my lap and goes up here then you do well right let's go see what we've got up there eh Over here, eh? Where is it? Where is it? Good girl. Where is it? Oh, yes. What a good dog. What a good dog. You found it. Wow. Didn't you do well? Wow. What a good, what a good girl. You did well. You did so well. Oh, whiskey chops. We've got to stay. We got to stay. Wow. Going through the neck, eh? Yeah. That is so good. Well done. Hey. Oh, my goody aunt, hey? You are a legend. Yeah, much as I'd like to stay it's about three or four k's back to camp so I should really cut a track typical just getting active now well, it's been a long day looking forward to getting back to the hut catching up with little red bring what adventure she's had today should be good so technology I've got some cell phone reception Little Red's latest dag. I came looking for her, didn't find her, but found her back hind quarters. So I'm going to try and bone these out, save carrying bone back to camp, and then get back to base. I've got little Red's boned out hind legs in my pack. This is becoming a bit of a habit. It's all good though. I really look forward to hearing this story. It's so cool that she's getting deer with whiskey chops. It's awesome. Happy days. Happy days. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this story. <laughs> wow. So it's Easter Monday, it's kind of a camp day today. 
massive, massive gales. I'm going to get this spiker processed, get it in the meat safe with Emma's big back steaks from yesterday. I'm even starting to think about a venison casserole actually. Might be my afternoon chore. So, Easter Monday. It is too, yep. The sun's shining, but I wouldn't want to be out there at the moment, it's because it's so windy. <laughs> yeah, she's a howling, isn't yeah. it? The only problem is, I've got to walk home. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah. Lucky you got that big stag yesterday. This too, isn't it? Yes, yeah. exactly. That thing. This weapon, yeah. All right. Game team whiskey. <laughs> well, we'll see you later in the yeah. week for a pickup. Lovely. As much as it's prime time, there's some massive big thunderclaps starting to happen. I think I might be better to retreat to the hut. They sound pretty impressive. just in time. Jeez, that's a bit shit. That should wash away any of today's scent. See what happens tomorrow morning. Morning team, it's Tuesday. It's a god awful night and just the most howling bloody northerlies. Shaking the hut to the very foundations. Not a lot of sleep. Um, we're gonna head three or four k's north check out our last trail cam because otherwise what am I going to do? Sit around camp all day, I'm twiddling my thumbs. I'm not very good at that. So Doggo and I will go and have a look. Very, very low expectations in this wind but hopefully they might die off in the next 24 hours. Stags, nice, really nicely shaped eight pointer, but looking at him from behind, he doesn't seem to have a lot of length. But yeah, right now, if he came up to me in the bush, he'd probably get a bullet because I've got. 
out seek of frustration. <laughs> anyway, we just need one to bloody start up. And it's uh, smoked chorizo sausages today. This is our last pack of the sausages for the trip, so we'll enjoy these, dog and I. Just heading back to camp. Morning stakeout's been a bit slow. One hee haw. Wind's still strong, but fingers crossed it might ease for this evening. So we're going to try some other gullies this afternoon. stags down below us, all making a lot of noise. We're going to need a shit ton of luck though, it's so thick in here. We'll go and see, see if we can create some luck. Wow, what an afternoon. It's one I will never forget, and that's why we hunt Seeker. Finally, the wind dropped today, or tonight. Finally, a hind probably came into season, and some stags started up, and it was bloody magic. I probably got on the trail of the stag about oh, half past three, and finally caught up with him, or he caught up with me, about five o'clock. Thick, thick manuka, as you'll see in the GoPro. Um, wind was in my face, so he didn't smell me. He possibly heard my backpack sort of got caught up in the manuka, it was so thick. And he came in to check me out real quick. He was below us, he came up through the scrub. I don't know what we'll see on the big screen until we get home to do some editing, but he got to within about 15 yards. Probably had the... He'd be one of the best stags I've seen hunting for myself in 30 odd years of chasing seeker, I suppose. His tops were really impressive. But that's all I got to see was his tops. I didn't get to see any in brows or trays or any of that sort of stuff. Just these big fuck off tops. <laughs> And we played chicken for about two minutes. I unfortunately can't do a mew to save myself like Little Red does. So I just stood there hoping he'd give me an eyeball or an ear or something to bloody shoot. In the end, he, he went, nah, I'm going to grow into an older stag. <laughs> Gave a massive bark and then just bolted back down through the scrub. And that was the last we saw of him. I tried to get AJ's call out of my pocket. My hands were shaking so badly, I just didn't even have a hope of getting that going. And that's that's what seek hunting means. What it means to me, it means a lot. That was just, I'll remember that hunt for the rest of my life. 
So what happens now? We go back down in those gullies tomorrow and hope that there's some more hinds coming on. We'll have some more fun. Thursday morning. And finally, it's perfect. We'll go and see if we can have some fun with the seeker this morning. Obviously no guarantees, we've been waiting for for a bloody week. That just made my roar. That's what it's about. Holy smokes. Oh man. 
I swore he was the big stag I saw last night. Very, very similar mew on him. In my mind it was him, but mate. That's probably the the best non-typical I've ever shot. I'm so happy. Look at that. This is why we seek a hunt. The highs, the lows, uh, unbelievable trying to get them in the scrub. Today was my day. Yesterday I sort of went back to the hut. I wasn't totally gutted, but I was like, oh man, how come I had to miss out on that one? Because it was just split seconds, and it's those little moments in this game. Sometimes they're yours and sometimes they're not. Today was my day. Annie played her part hugely, she was really good. Had her on a little uh, boot lace lasso over her head just to keep her in. And um, yeah, finally that bugger, he'd been up here roaring for oh, the past hour, I suppose. And we sort of snuck in, snuck in, and then it was like, uh, I can't get any closer, he's gonna hear me. So decided to roll the dice with the AJ caller, and um, it bloody worked, so. Could not be happier. Frickin' <laughs> best bloody morning for a long time. Well, this week anyway. <laughs> My God, he is the wonkiest of wonkies. I think I've counted six points on him. He's big and old and mature. He's so cool. Hey, hey, is he cool? Yes. Boy, was that a game of cat and mouse. I didn't, I didn't know whether to start playing the AJ caller or not. Stop it, stop it. Come on, stop chewing them. Because once they know you're here, there's no turning back. But man, to get them to move around in this stuff, or for us to move around in this stuff is too tough. Hey, hey, sit down, sit down. Sit. But after bashing around in the scrub for the last week and doing some big k's, some big days it's all worth it, it's all worth it Little Red, I wish you were here with Whiskey Chops to uh, to enjoy the success because this is so cool man this is what the seeker rut means to me Guys, if you're um, starting out in seeker hunting I strongly recommend you go and find a universal game caller Hey Annie, they work. I would not have got the stag without this because I can't make their calls. Not like little Reed can. She can mimic them amazingly, but old Dumbo here can't do it. So get yourself one of these if you want to get into seeker hunting and you want to have some success. So what did I use to slay my dragon of a seeker? It's a carbon Tika 308 from Gun City. Awesome, awesome gun to sneak around in the bush with. Did the business when I needed it. Topped off with a very cool Leopold scope. Clear as clear. Whew, could not be happier. It's home time. A little bit earlier than expected. I was gonna leave, well I was actually gonna leave really early this morning and try and hunt my way out, but once I heard that bloody rain on the roof, it was like, nah. Cause then I'd have to sit around till 12 o'clock in the rain, wait for the Uber. 
just a quick shout out to all our awesome customers and your understanding for us being away for a few days over Easter and all you guys that have either put some deer in the chiller for, for when I return or frozen your trim really really appreciated so we'll get back to work and uh, get into some processing Been impressed with these uh, new Hunter's Element raincoats. Real nice fit. A lot lighter than the old model that we had. Obviously they're waterproof. And tick a lot of boxes. If you're in the market for a quality expedition type raincoat, I think these retail for about 500 bucks. Oh guys, it's never over till it's over. Walking out to the pickup, where Little Red will be soon, um, Seeker Stag started single calling in the bush, so whipped out the AJ caller for a bit of fun. Bugger come up, so had to harvest them. So I got a really good load of meat right where the truck can get to. Could not be happier. Great way to end the trip. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs>